All right. Hello, hello. It's Thursday. We're in the career space, but we're uh, kind of starting the architect space early. Dylan has a question about routes. Pavel's here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What's your question, Dylan? Yeah. So my question is, uh, so I'll give you a little bit of a background about the application. So it's an existing application that was upgraded from uh, 14 to 17. Um, so it has NG module, uh, really maybe only a couple of standalone components were existing. So I created all new standalone components uh, for a, a feature and um, everything was working fine. Um, I even created like a, an orchestrating um, component that uh, I put, a, I made it for in the routing, I designed it so it'd be lazy loaded. Um, however, um, there's children in that route, and uh, the children are all standalone components. And uh, but one of the children is actually um, a legacy component, you could say. So it's not standalone. Mm -hmm. So uh, the syntax that I used is that I, I you know, just uh, in the lazy loaded route, I just added the children for the child routes as children. But now I'm thinking the way I did it uh, in the module um where it is or in the routes it's actually i have to import the uh, components so if i'm importing the components it's not really lazy loading mm -hmm. so uh i'm just wondering those children how can i make them all lazy loaded including that legacy uh component yeah very good question so i was pulling up the docs to so that we could see that but pavel said he actually has uh, uh an example of this which oh, is even better yeah. that's cool I, okay. yeah i have made the whole uh, so uh, whole principle of lazy loading routes from the root level to the basically future level so everything is see lazy loaded. yeah yay thank you Pavel. so let me show you okay so here is a basic uh oh okay. can you make it bigger anyway. your monitor is very big remember i know anyway this is just development so it doesn't matter uh, uh here is a cl uh, classic application config for lazy load applications here is the routes which is the first level so here is uh, basically the first level of routing it's basically uh what, what i want to do with sorry uh where i want to redirect the user on the modules based that's what you have dylan in your application if like counseling and so on all of these modules are basically resolved here as the first level and then i'm loading load children so here is the import and what i'm doing here is basically loading the configuration from the const file so there's another level of uh nesting which basically there is a basic level. Here is a root level path because I don't need to, uh, the root level of the index of the module is based on the app root. So the, here I don't need to set it up, but the path here is needed to be written there because uh, it's not going to work uh, if you delete that part. Okay. So there's two lazy, two lazy loading things. First, you are lazy loading the layout and then mm -hmm. you are lazy loading the children. Okay. Right. Which uh, Angular is going to tell you from the from the basic level that you if you want to work with uh, lazy loading paths here, you also need to lazy load component here. It's not going to work if you are going to skip this part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, I see. Okay. Yeah, that, and that is this is just the module level, and then we are going to the future. And the future level is looking like like this. Okay. Where you have basic pages, put it in there, and you are using the load component. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So um, if you go back to the previous one, mm -hmm. um, if I okay. follow what you're saying, um, that default component, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're using it, okay, multiple times, and yeah, because of syntax, like so, it won't work without that. But is, is it an actual component, or is it just used? Uh, oh yeah, for, yeah. this is okay. the default component. It's my layout, so it's layout for the application with header and main and so on. Oh, okay, gotcha. So basically, 
on each of the children nesting here from the from my perspective of the domains i'm loading that i want to use layout this one right. okay. for this type of feature there okay i see okay okay and they're all lazy loaded okay that's that's mm -hmm. very interesting so so it helps yep. me i guess with my dilemma I, I have to rethink things um you know i guess i have to have a, a different mental model about how i approach mm -hmm. uh the routes it's actually uh quite flexible uh, yeah and there is also another we can say hack in the typescript that you don't have to write, write then or all, all the times mm -hmm. so if you don't write the then all the times you can just skip that part by adding default on the class right. so you don't have to write it all the time again and again you know yeah i saw that last night and uh yeah if you export as default then uh yeah, it gives so, you a little bit more so this is why it's looking like really simple in, in terms of looking down and i can also uh, pick if i want to edit this uh, path alias here or not that's basically up to me but right yeah okay and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in this in this uh, one here, the system dot routes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. So you're loading the components there. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cool. And, so and yeah. oh, sorry. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. It's just the whole thing. Uh, basically, it's lazy loaded, so nothing is loaded in the uh, on the initial start of the application. Okay. So. Okay, and are all your components uh, standalone, or are there any mm -hmm. that are uh, yeah. all standalone? Okay. Yeah, this is all the standalone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But so it would I think look I... the same, right? If it's not standalone. Yep, it would be the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you know, like I think I can still use this. Like, um, so what happened to me was that um, I started moving things around, and uh, you know, tried. A lazy loading approach with the child routes and uh and mm -hmm. what happened is that one of them was causing an error constantly um it was saying that uh of course that it was uh, not standalone uh, just because it was actually in the array i believe so uh so I, I rolled it back but now looking at this i think i'm gonna try and approach it again uh, maybe plan it out a little bit better um because I think it helps it to write it out also before you start writing the code. It helps to like write out write out all your routes and how they're going to be nested, mm -hmm. so that right. you have it really clear in your mind. And then you can set up like I really like how Pavel did the const to set up all those public routes uh, mm -hmm. to keep it all clean. So you right. could actually write all that out on paper first and then set it up with your with your uh, routes like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I did make a separate file with like uh, my, my const and uh, but. However, um, you know, there's a one catch with that one component. So, um, but then again, you know, like um, actually I learned something from this as well that um, even though I had that, you know, I had that catch probably because also um, I could have done a little bit better planning. And uh, there's a few concepts here that I didn't actually, um, you know, pick up or wasn't aware of. So this we is have good. some time. Would you like to show it to us? Oh, I, I wouldn't be able to show you uh, this particular uh, set of code at this time okay. because, yeah, but... Um, we can turn off the recording if you want. We have some okay. time before everybody... Do okay, you want sure. us to... Yeah? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll show you. Um, 